In this video, I am going to solve the 11th problem from chapter 16, waves 1, from Principles of Physics, 10th edition. Two identical traveling waves moving in the same direction are out of phase by 0.75 rad. What is the amplitude of the resultant wave? in terms of the common amplitude ym of the two combining waves so what they given the question two waves and these two waves are exactly identical to each other and these two waves are exactly moving in the same direction but one is out of phase with 0.75 rad now what we are going to do we are going to apply the superposition principle because we already started in the theory so it's a mixing of one wave over the another wave we studied constructive waves and destructive waves we studied everything in the theory am i right so here this question is related with the superposition principle so you are going to mix two waves and finally you are going to find what should be the resultant amplitude only clear okay so first of all i am going to frame the equation for both waves because we already studied the wave equation for the first wave equation i am going to mention y1 which is equal to ym sine of kx minus omega t this is the wave equation for the first one first wave okay likewise they mentioned the second wave which is a little bit out of phase of 0 0.7 pi rad right so i have to frame the equation for that wave also so therefore y2 which is equal to ym sine of kx minus omega t plus 0.75 rad so here you have to see the sign both are negative am i right see this kx minus omega t it is a phase am i right so here this minus means both waves are uh, moving in the positive x direction but the second wave is a little bit out of phase with 0 0.7 which they mentioned in the which they mentioned in the question right so i am going to add these two as and then i am going to find what is our resultant wave so how to find the resultant wave the resultant wave the resultant wave is given by the relation y which is equal to y1 plus y2 i'm going to add these two that is our resultant right so let's we add together y which is equal to which is our resultant wave y1 what is our y1 ym sine of kx minus omega t plus ym sine of kx minus omega t it is a little bit out of phase with a 0 0.75 now i am going to take ym as a common term so let's we take this ym outside so what is coming inside the bracket inside the bracket sine of kx minus omega t plus sine of kx minus omega t plus 0 0.75 so i have to close the bracket clear if you see this it's exactly the form of trigonometric identities because i'm going to use the trigonometric rule here as we studied in the mathematics the formula for sine a plus sine b which is equal to two times of sine of a plus b over 2 multiply with cosine of a minus b over 2 now i am going to apply this rule inside this bracket so how we can apply you can see here also we have the sign and this kx minus omega t i am going to take as a term a likewise plus sine of and this term i am going to take as b clear so now we have the rule the trigonometric identity rule we have i am going to directly apply this rule inside 
So this kx minus omega t I'm going to take as a term and kx minus omega t plus 0.7 pi I'm going to take as b term. So now I'm going to apply the rule inside. So what will happen? So let's we see. The resultant wave y which is equal to ym I'm going to apply the rule inside 2 multiplied by sine. So 2 multiplied by sine multiplied by a plus b. What is our a term? kx minus omega t, right? So kx minus omega t plus b. So plus into kx. So I'm going to add all these terms and I have to multiply with this plus. So plus into kx, it is plus kx plus into minus omega t, which is minus omega t, plus into plus, which is plus 0 0.7 pi, right? So I have to close the bracket and it is divided by 2. Multiply with, similarly, we have to do it for the second term of cosine a minus b. So what is our a term? kx minus omega t and minus into plus kx which is minus kx minus into minus omega t becomes plus omega t minus into plus 0 0.7 pi becomes minus 0 0.7 pi over 2. So I have to close the bracket. Now all these terms inside the bracket is in the multiplication form. So what I am going to do, I am going to take these two outside. So by that, the above equation will become 2 times of ym and what will come inside? Only sine term. You have to see here kx plus kx. So that means this becomes 2kx minus omega t minus omega t becomes minus 2 omega t and here plus 0 0.7 pi over 2. And here the second term cosine of let us see kx minus kx. So what will happen? This kx get cancelled with this negative kx. This minus omega t get cancelled with this minus plus omega t. Only you have minus 0 0.7 pi over 2. So I have to close the bracket. Clear? Now what I am going to do? I am going to take these two for each number. So what is 2kx over 2 minus 2 omega t over 2 plus 0 0.7 pi over 2. So by that we can easily simplify the above term. So the resultant wave y which is equal to 2 times of 2 times of the amplitude sine of this term divide by 2. So what will happen? This becomes kx. Likewise, minus 2 omega t divided by 2 minus omega t plus 0 0.7 pi over 2 will give us 0 0.35, right? So that means plus 0 0.35 pi. I have to close the bracket. Here, cosine of minus 0 0.35 pi. So I have to close the bracket. Clear? Now we already know cosine of negative value is positive of cosine. So I can write this term as positive value for our calculation. So y which is equal to 2 times of amplitude sine of kx minus omega t plus 0 0.35 3 5 pi multiply with cosine of positive term because cosine of negative is cosine of positive, right? So 0 0.35 pi. Now, in the wave equation, we will get only one phase constant, right? Which is nothing but our phase is this one, am I right? But here it's a part of the multiplication, some number. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this because everything is in terms of multiplication form. So I'm going to take this cosine of 0 0.35 pi outside the bracket. So by that what will happen? The resultant wave equation y equal to 2 times of cosine of 0 
3 phi phi y m and then we have to write our phase the so sine of k x minus omega t plus 0 0.3 phi pi so i have to close the bracket clear so we no need to worry about the phase constants here i'm not going to take this phase here we are going to we are going to take only the amplitude right so that means this is our amplitude right so what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply these two with this so finally we have to identify what is our resultant amplitude so let's we just go back to the question we have to look again i think they ask only the resultant amplitude see here what is the amplitude of the resultant wave in terms of the common amplitude ym of the combining waves two waves are combining each other we are going to find what should be the resultant amplitude which is common for both clear so that means we are going to we are not going to touch the phase that is sine of kx minus omega t plus 0 0.35 pi i am going to multiply only this so anything multiply this ym gives the resultant amplitude so this is our resultant amplitude right so let's we calculate resultant amplitude so i'm, go, I'm going to calculate our resultant amplitude so 2 multiplied by cosine of 0 0.35 pi so please while you multiply please check your calculator it should be in the radian mode clear so 2 multiply by cosine of 0 0.35 pi i got the answer as 0 0.907 so i can write 0 0.91 of the amplitude so what is our answer the resultant amplitude here is nothing but 0 0.91 so this is our answer for this question clear that's it we are not going to take the phase we are going to consider only the resultant amplitude what is our resultant amplitude we have to multiply clear that's it thank you